What's going on everybody, JCSB here, and today I've got kind of a special video for you. As you can see, I'm on my desktop right now on my computer, and today I'm going to show you a couple of the programs I have on my computer, as well as how I record and edit my videos. So I'm going to start off with telling you about my background here. It's just a Minecraft background I found on Google. If I remember, I will link it in the description. It's pretty cool. I like how they have all the mobs stacking up to help finish the tea, and then the pigs dominating the entire picture by standing on top of the sea. So, uh, very cool. Alright, so I'm going to go through my dock here. Now, as many of you know, I have a Mac. Now, before I start off here, please nobody give me hate for Mac. I don't have any problem with PC, and my computer runs just fine with Minecraft, and I really don't need to hear any more that Macs are terrible or anything of that nature. So I'm just going to go over some of the important applications I have in here, because I'm not going to go through every single one that take quite a while. I use Firefox for my browser. I have Google Chrome and Safari, but I find Firefox to be the best. I just personally like it. All right, and then of course iTunes, that's how I get all my music, especially my Uncle Tavi's music. It's all on iTunes, and so I did legally buy it all. What's next? Okay, Skype, that's how I communicate with most of you. My Skype is open to you guys. The information is on my the left side of my YouTube channel. My Skype name's just Team JCSB, same as my YouTube channel. Next is my editing software, iMovie, and I'm going to get more into detail to iMovie in a little bit. But basically, you just import the movies that you record into there, and then from there, you can export it to YouTube. Next, I've got ScreenFlow. I'm using it right now. It's what I use to record. Very, very simple. You just click on the icon here, and you click Start Recording, and you can decide where it's going to pick up audio from. I have it picking it up from my Logitech headset and also the computer sounds. Next, and the most important application on my computer is Minecraft, of course. I don't really need to explain that. I'm pretty sure most of you know how that one works, especially if you're subscribed to my channel. I also have Steam, and I believe my Steam name is either JCSB or Team JCSB. The only game I have on there is Portal 2, but I really don't play it at all. So you can add me on Steam if you can figure out which name is mine, but I don't go on there very much. Next, I have Pixelmator. This is basically like Photoshop, except it's a lot cheaper. I definitely was not going to pay the amount it cost to buy Photoshop. Pixelmator was only about 30 bucks, so it was reasonable, and I use it to mess around trying to make my own Minecraft texture packs and YouTube backgrounds. Not very skilled in it, and I don't know a lot about what it does, but it works for me. And that's pretty much all the applications I use. The rest of these are just Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. But next I want to get into how I record and set up my videos. Now here, right here, is a ScreenFlow, ScreenFlow file. It's just a short 30 second Minecraft video that I recorded. So if we click on it here, this is my ScreenFlow setup. This is the recording down here. This is the game audio, this bar here. It usually has another bar below it, which is the... Uh, mic audio, but I don't mess with any of that. What I do from here, the first thing, I crop the video. As you can see up here, it's still got this top bar in the shot, and I don't want it there. So what I do is I hit the crop button, and I drag it down so it's out of the picture. Then you just click apply, and it resizes the video so that you don't have to see that top bar anymore. From there, I export it to the desktop. So I really want to show you guys my exporting settings. That way you know how I get my videos to be 720 HP. So I click File, Export, then you can name it whatever you want, I'm just going to name it Test Video, that's fine. Then I click Customize here, I go into Settings, I slide this slider over to Best, and then I make the size 1280 by 720 HD. Then I click OK. Under Sound, I click Settings and change the Target Bit Rate to 192. Click OK. I also make sure that Fast Start is checked off because that's better for uploading to the internet. Then I click OK. Lastly, under the dimensions here, I click Scale to Custom Size and I fill it out so it's 1280 by 720 as well. So that's all I do in that. And then I just click Export. Now, for my long 15 or 30 minute videos, it takes forever to export. 
at least 30 to 40 minutes but obviously seeing how this video is only 30 seconds it's only going to take uh, you know but maybe a minute to export so I'm going to let it export here and I'll meet you back when it's at the desktop alright guys so the video has successfully exported to the desktop it's right here it just puts it in a dot move file which always works for me when it comes to putting it on YouTube so uh, I guess you can make your videos in dot move file as well next I open up iMovie now as I mentioned this is what I use to edit and this is a screen that is brought up when I open up iMovie these are all my completed projects and down here are all my events which are the raw footage so what I do first is I open up a new project so we'll just call this one test video and click create so we don't need to get into that just yet what we need to do next is click file new event and that'll bring up a new section here to import clips then you do file import movies and I am searching on my desktop here and I click test video dot move import and this also takes quite a while when I'm doing a main let's play episode but for the purposes of this 30 second video you can see that it only takes less than a minute and I'll show you what to do after this has completely imported alright guys so here's the raw footage here it's uh, imported down to this bottom event here what I do next is I simply drag and select everything you hold down the click button and select everything and you drag the clips up to the project and this is where you do all your editing for example this is where you can edit in an intro by using these different text things so for example say we take this one and you pick a background so we can do green and then we can go team JCSB when you play it it does the uh, animation here and then it continues on to the rest of your clips so guys that's basically how I record and edit in a nutshell from here I would next upload the video to YouTube and I do that one of two ways now unfortunately my editing software here iMovie does not recognize the fact that I have the privilege to upload videos longer than 15 minutes that w that means that if I want to directly upload my video from iMovie straight to YouTube the video has to be less than 15 minutes now I do this for short videos like vlogs or tutorial videos basically any video that's less than 15 minutes I upload it directly from iMovie and the way I do that is I click share uh, YouTube and then basically you just fill out your video description and title your tags and I make sure it's on 720p HD and from there you would just click next and then publish obviously I'm not gonna do that now because I'm not putting this one test video on YouTube now if the video is longer than 15 minutes for example all my let's play episodes they're always longer than 15 minutes what I have to do first is export them to the desktop and then from the desktop I can upload them to the YouTube site now the way I do that I click share export movie you can title it whatever you want I usually type a final at the end that way I know it's the final copy video make sure you're exporting it to the desktop then I make sure that HD 720p is checked off and then from there you just click export now this is the last or one of the last very long processes other than this it takes a while to obviously upload to YouTube but normally this part takes quite a while too because it has to finalize the video or in other words render the video and then you can upload it to YouTube so from there it's exported to the desktop and then you simply go on to YouTube click the upload button and you know how to do it from there and that's basically it that's how I record and edit so I hope you guys have enjoyed this short setup video once again don't hate on me for having a Mac for those of you who have a Mac I hope you've learned how I use ScreenFlow and how I record and edit once again the background will be or the desktop background here will be linked in the description. Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.